Hi there and welcome to this episode of Consciousness Empowerment. Here we talk about consciousness, the law of attraction, and how to reach your fucking dreams. Let's get it. So today, as I was journaling and thinking about the post that I was going to share, I came to the idea of sharing about why I work out every single day. It started by me taking off five days, four days off, and on the fifth day, I would work out. So I work out hard, take four days off, and then work out on the fifth day. My muscles did grow, all right? They did grow because I wasn't working out hard as fuck every single day, all right? Like four or five days a week. So my muscles began to grow. I can't really see right here. The lighting doesn't really do me justice right here, but I got a little bit of upper chest. I didn't have that before. I didn't have upper chest before. But when I did that, when I took the five days off, I started growing. And so there's some benefit in that. However, the days I didn't work out, my energies were low. Okay, let's say when I work out, my energy is over here. When I didn't work out, it slowly began declining. By like the fifth day, I was like in a drought. I was like, whoa, what's going on? Because so I work in an office, okay? Uh, I'm a salesman at a tax firm called Millennia. Now, when I work out, my voice even gets louder. I do power cleans or I do uh, something that's a little challenging. I always try to put something in there that's a little challenging, okay? This gets me a positive mental attitude. I'm in a great mood. This is why people don't want to go to the gym, right? And then they go and at the end they say, that's one of the best ones I've ever had because of the contrast. Sometimes they go in already in a good mood, so they come out already in a good mood. But if they're in a bad mood, they're lethargic, they're lazy, but they have, they made a commitment or somebody made them go and they go to the gym and now they're in a good mood. They just earned a positive mental attitude. This is not the only way, okay? This is not the only way to get a positive mental attitude. You could do gratitude, you can jump around and dance and you get in a good fucking vibration. Imagine giving yourself that positive mental attitude every single day of your life, okay? Every single day of your life. Good thoughts create good actions. Good actions create good habits. Good habits create good character. Good character becomes a good destiny, a good life. Now change those thoughts to money thoughts. Money thoughts become money actions. Money actions become money habits. Money habits become money character. Money character becomes money, a life, a destiny filled with money. Okay, so we earn everything through our thoughts. So we harvest our thoughts in the physical circumstance. Physical circumstances are an illusion, okay, because they are temporary. Our, our self, our consciousness, and our spirit, our spirit, our soul is what's real because it's immortal. It's in the non-physical. It would not perish. This body will perish. It's like a shell. It's like a costume. But it is us as well, but it's just temporary, okay? It's just temporary. So enjoy life, enjoy the present, know that everything you're looking at is a result of your thought. Now I'm gonna teach you how to think when you think about money. And then I'll go into some other examples too. But when you think about money, and this is wealth consciousness, you see yourself with the money already, okay? So see yourself swiping a card, and buying things that you want. See yourself buying the clothes, the jewelry, and with a good vibe. So if you already earned that positive mental attitude, you'll see yourself buying the stuff, driving the cars, living in the mansion, donating, building those libraries, building those nonprofits. You're gonna see that already, okay? You're gonna see it done, okay? See it already, like enjoy it. Enjoy the, the fruits of your wealth. 
travel, see yourself traveling, see yourself in Egypt, see yourself in Mexico, see yourself with your chefs, see yourself with your drivers. Okay? That is wealth consciousness. You have no limits. You're seeing yourself with it already. And you're not in a negative vibe because you could say, I am rich and then have a negative vibe behind it. Right? Like you can say that and be like, but I don't believe it. Well, you're already in a negative vibration because you're complaining about fucking life and the things that you have versus earning that positive mental attitude, doing your gratitude, working out, meditation, dancing, you know, shaking your ass, whatever it is, pumping your hands and woo hoo, I'm alive, woo woo, I'm alive, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. And now go meditate. I mean, visualize. <laughs> go visualize. And. Well, visualization is kind of a meditation, but it's an active meditation. You're using your thoughts and you're focusing on what it is that you're trying to create. Okay. And oh, if you just do that over and over and over again, you're going to begin to get in that vibration. You're going to feel it. You're going to experience it in your mind. A little trick to say, how do I feel now that I have this money, this amount of money? Okay. Just see yourself buying the stuff that you're going to have it. The universe just understands vibration, okay? So if you see yourself with it, you'll have it. If you see yourself with Rolex, right? You're going to get it. You might get it for free, okay? Set yourself up for success, not for failure, okay? So you set yourself up for success by earning a positive mental attitude every single day, okay? you can think about being in shape, seeing yourself with legs, the abs, the muscles in your mind. Look at a mirror, see you the body, and then start taking action. Start do taking those habits. Start doing those actions so they become habits. Those habits become your character, and it's just going to manifest. It has to. You have to continue and continue to harvest those thoughts. I was fortunate enough to go to prison, right? Sounds, sounds um, like an oxymoron, but because I was locked in a cell... I was able to just visualize the things that I wanted, the things that I wanted. And there was only two things that I really wanted was be good and go to college and be with my family. Very simple stuff. But now I'm manifesting even more things, even more, even more, even more, and more, and more, and more, and more, and more. And enjoy the journey. Enjoy the ever present now. That's all we have. You're only, you're only going to be as happy as you are right now. If you don't like what you have or, or you know, you, you, you want more, right? If you want more, remember that it's your thoughts. Your thoughts that created what you have and you control your thoughts. And thoughts are free. Therefore, there's only abundance. You can have all the money that you want. You can have the physique that you want. You can have all the love that you want. You can have all the skill that you want, all the accolades that you want. Listen to your heart. Your heart will tell you what it is that you want. Listen to it. If you visualize something and you're like, ugh, you don't want it, then don't. You know, listen to it. Listen to it. If you don't like something, it's okay. It's not for you. Pivot. I hope you like this one. Until next time, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you. Peace.